Ciara and welcome to Weekend Getaway, the show where we talk about fantastic spots to visit for a weekend. I am Robin from NZ Pocket Guide, New Zealand's largest travel guide, and today we'll be looking at our favorite spots to escape to when staying in Napier. There is a link right above my head to a full article on nzpocketguide.com with more details about each of the day trips I'll be mentioning in this video. And with that in mind, let's get away. The first day trip on our list is Cape Kidnappers. Definitely considered a day trip if you choose to hike to the famous Gannett colony of Cape Kidnappers, this area of Hawke's Bay is renowned for its nature. Get up close to New Zealand's largest Gannett colony to watch this majestic seabird and admire the Grand Cliffs awash with fossils and fault lines. Alternatively, driving tours can turn the 5-hour return hike into a shorter and easier trip. The next day trip on our list is the Kaweka Forest Park, which is about an hour to an hour and a half drive out of Napier. Get off the beaten track and experience the alpine shrublands and tussock valleys and beach forest of the Kaweka Forest Park. You'll find an array of half-day and full-day walks in this wilderness area, as well as humble yet utterly relaxing hot pools at the Mangatutu Hot Springs. Moving on to Weora. Travel one and a half hours on the winding and scenic state highway to north and you'll eventually come across the charming town of Weora, with some quirky attractions and rich cultural heritage to be had. Get an obligatory photo with the Weora lighthouse in the middle of the town and discover the intriguing Maori artifact in the Weora Museum and enjoy the town's quirky cafes and art galleries. Next on our list is the Ruahine Forest Park, which is about an hour to an hour and a quarter drive out of Napier. It's another wilderness area to completely lose yourself in, but don't lose yourself for real in there. The Ruahine Forest Park not only makes a stunning backdrop to the central Hogs Bay, but it also is a stunning place to hike. A popular day walk over there is the Sunrise Herd Track, which is a well-graded track which gradually takes you up to a stunning viewpoint around all of Ox Bay. And to wrap it up, we are heading to Wemarama, which is about 40 minutes drive out of Napier. Head south to the gorgeous beach setting of Wemarama, learning about the settlement's historical and cultural significance with Wemarama Maori tools. Or additionally, you can walk the Mareo Totara historic walk and check out the popular swimming spot of the Mareo Totara Falls. And that's five! For more info and heaps of hidden gems, head to nzpocketguide.com. For more videos like this, hit likes and subscribe. And before I go away, let me know in the comments which getaway you'll pick, which getaway you've already done, and what you will recommend in those places. Enjoy your getaway!